This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, you will learn how to make an origami elephant. I have a piece of paper 10 by 10 inches, 25 by 25 centimeters, paper of different color on each side. Begin with the white side facing up. We are going to make a pinch mark at the center. Pinch mark at a quarter. Tip down to this mark and one more pinch mark. This pinch mark will be much longer. Fold the paper in half diagonally. So we have that longer pinch mark right here. We are going to reinforce it on both sides of the paper. Hold the layers together firmly, fold back and forth. Long pinch mark. Bring the right corner to that pinch mark and we create a folder bow here. Bring this edge to match this folded edge. Unfold, fold to the back as well, and unfold. These two, unfold, fold to the back. We create a fold from this corner to this edge. This and this align. We create a fold about here, bringing this edge so that it is perpendicular to this vertical edge. Unfold, inside reverse fold by pressing here. Bring this edge to match this bisecting this angle, same here. Little Coco just came in, we're going to leave her there. Unfold and open. Press here and inside reverse fold too. Want to fold some paper, Coco? Now we are going to unfold this area. This is going to become undone for a moment. We open here. This fold and this fold will be mountain folds. This fold will be a valley fold. So we reinforce it as a valley fold. Carefully, we reinforce this and this as mountain. This is valley fold. And close it so that it collapses to the way we had it before. This is the tail of the elephant. Now we are going to open briefly and we are going to create a fold about here by bringing this point to the fold. This is parallel to that fold. We fold, we leave it there, and we are going to create a fold along here from the edge to halfway up to suggest legs. Back and forth. Open, unfold this, and we are going to refold this at the end. We have this fold here. We are going to create one more fold along here, dividing this angle in half, bisecting it. Fold to the front, fold to the back as well. 
this fold and this fold will be reinforced as mountain folds. So we can hold the paper from here and press it down so that we collapse into this shape. Visually we locate the midpoint between this corner and this corner, about here. We are going to make a fold starting at that point and finishing at this corner. Repeat on the back. Now we visually locate the halfway point between this corner and this corner about here. We begin a fold right there and end at this corner, right above the tail. To the front and also goes to the back. We hold from the top, open briefly, this might be come undone but that's okay press from underneath, we locate the base of that pyramid made by this corner and we are going to press this point in so that we sink. Just have to be brave with the paper. This base of that pyramid is now mountain fault. This is a straight, this is a straight, and this has a very slight angle. And then we can refold the tail. Now we are going to visually locate half the distance between here and here, about here, and then half the distance between that point and here, so about here. That will be the beginning of our next fold. That fold will be parallel to this edge, about here. Fold to the back so that we see and make sure that it is parallel. About there. And fold it to the front unfold and open the layers, press here and inside reverse fold. We have a previous long pinch mark here. We are going to be folding along that pinch mark. We are going to be folding a layer right underneath this top one for the ear, just this layer underneath. So fold it as a mountain fold. We already have this, this section, we just have to prolong it underneath the ear. We're going to bisect this angle, bring this edge to match this edge. Same on the back. Unfold. Now we are going to inside reverse fold along the previous fold, but we are going to create a new fold from this point down to this corner. So inside reverse this, and we just keep going. The new fold is a mountain fold from here to here. Same on the back. To that point, but we want a fold to be from here to here. So we we'll continue to press. Bring the trunk up. Out there, there, however you prefer. 
make a crease and fold and press from below inside reverse. At this point, we can blunt this corner by making a fold from here somewhere to here. We can fold it to the front first, then to the back. And repeat on the back. We can fold the tip of the trunk to the back, fold, unfold, outside reverse fold, which is pressing here. A mountain fold along here to suggest the front leg. We have a previous fold here that suggests a leg. We can fold one, the upper layer as a mountain fold, turn it over and also a mountain fold. Open. We can create a couple of folds right here and here to suggest the belly turn it over here and here turn it over at this point we can open and refold that inner point so that we lock the elephant on the back you can leave it like this to send it flat in an envelope. Otherwise, press here and press here. Same on the back. Pressing on these previously made folds. And we can stand it up. To find out exact paper sizes for this family of elephants, Read our blog post at origamispirit.com. Click on the link at the upper right corner of your screen.